What is the best tennis tactic against deep returners? And no, it's not doing the underarm serve. So let's check out this point real quick. Silas is the one serving. I'm the one returning, doing this deep return off screen here. The underhand serve or the underarm serve is not the best tactic to go to because obviously you can only get away with it maybe once, maybe twice. And if you're the returner getting fooled twice with an underhand serve, then shame on you, right? Don't let that happen. But obviously the best tactic, you've seen it, is the serve and volley. So here's Silas about to serve here. And when he serves in volley, right? Notice I'm way off screen, you know, or you don't notice me, right? And I return this ball probably 10, 12 feet into the court. Maybe check out that blue pickleball line there. That's probably kind of where I'm returning it. And I actually returned it very well, right? So this goes straight to the service box, the corner of the service box, very low towards Silas's backhand side there. It's a backhand, low backhand volley. And that's a tough volley to do in the stretch. And all he did was just stab at it. And that's all you need to get it in for the winner there. Obviously, I don't have the best speed in the world. I couldn't get to that ball. But even against good returners with good speed, getting them to run up is going to be very tough all the way from 10 to 12 feet behind the baseline, right? And, you know, even if they get it up there, Silas would be ready for that volley. And, you know, it's, it's just going to be a very difficult thing for the returner because there's so much space involved, right? And that's the advantage of the servant volleyer here. There's all this space in the front of the court on my end there that you really need to cover. And all you have to do is just poke it in there short, a short volley or an angled volley will work. Almost any kind of volley will work. It just has to stay low, right? So that is the advantage of the serve and volley. So since this is the best tactic to go to against deep returners, why wouldn't you do this every time? Maybe every point, right? Serve and volley. Well, it depends on your serve, right? And it depends on your volley skills, right? So Silas, you know, he could serve up to the tee. He could serve hard. He could serve out wide here. Same thing on the deuce side. Serve out wide, serve to the tee, serve to the body. So it depends on the quality of your serve and also the quality of your volleys, right? So again, I got a good return in. Can you do a backhand stretch volley? Very low there. And so there's a risk involved, right, with a serve and volley. And so if you see a deep returner, right, are you going to go for this serve and volley tactic, even if you know that this may be the best tactic to go to? Well, you got to practice it. You got to practice this, this serve and volley technique, right? You got to have good split steps. And I, I, covered, I covered that in a, another video regarding how to serve and volley well. You, have, you need to have good movement going up to the net and just be very dynamic with the net play here. You know, these deep returners, usually they, they have good returns, right? They have all the space and time in the world to hit something good. And you still have to be very dynamic with your net game. So even though this is the best tactic to go to, you still need to execute your serve and volley very well. So against deep returners... Don't be practicing those underhand serve. Practice the serve and volley. Get good at that and mix it up a little bit so that these deep returners don't get too comfortable hitting those return of serves near the back fence. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.